everyone, welcome to session nine of the Excel Maven Expert Series. Today we're going to be talking about formula-based formatting, uh, which is a very cool, um, very powerful formatting tool in Excel. So traditionally when people use conditional formatting, um, they think of kind of the stock standard sets. So the uh, color scales, the data bars, the icon sets. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that you can actually write your own formulas to customize your own formatting. So I'm going to walk through three different examples now, um, starting with this price checker here. Um, this was actually built using an index match function uh, that we covered in session number four. So you're if you're interested in learning how to build this from scratch, check out session four. Basically what we want to do here is conditionally format this data array here from C3 to G7 uh, to highlight whichever cell or whichever price that I've landed on. So uh, if you haven't seen this tool before, basically it allows you to uh, select a combination of product and size and this index match function will pull in uh, the correct price from the array above. So basically we just want to uh, have a visual aid to highlight which price we've landed on. So what I'm going to do is select the array where I want the formatting to be applied. I'm going to go to conditional formatting in the home tab, scroll down to new rule, and then down here at the bottom it says use a formula to determine which cells to format. And in here, this is where you're going to type your formula, it always starts with an equal sign. And one thing to note before I write this is that when it comes to formula-based formatting, it is extremely important to understand the difference between fixed and relative references. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I would recommend that you jump back to session one, which really dives into how to use fixed and relative references and what they mean. Um, but you'll see in a minute why it's so important. So basically, this is where I'm going to put my formula that determines which cell to highlight. So I'm going to just select one cell within the array, in this case C3, and the formula is essentially going to say if that cell is equal to the price in uh, E11, then highlight it with a certain format. Otherwise, leave it as is. The key is that this C3 reference needs to change. It's not only C3 that we're formatting. So what I need to do is remove the fixed references, which Excel enters automatically, so that C3 is entirely relative. Now the formatting will apply to any one of these columns and any one of these rows within the array. Um, so it's going to be C3 is equal to E11, and that reference always should be fixed because I always want it to refer to the price in E11 to determine whether or not to highlight it. So that's it for there for the formula. Now I can just go into format and select what I want that to look like. So you can change the number formatting, uh, font, font style, size, border effects. Um, I'm just going to change the fill to like a medium yellow, like a little highlight. Click OK. And then when you click OK, it takes me back, and as you can see, the correct price is now highlighted. Quick way to check it out, I can just jump between items here, sizes, and as you can see, uh, that conditional formatting is uh, working perfectly. Let's take a look at a couple other examples. Here I just have uh, you know, five columns of data, I have some revenue and cost data with a profit margin calculation. Um, the first thing I want to show you is um, actually a pretty common uh, type of conditional formatting. It's using the mod function, which I'll show you in a minute, to highlight every other row of an array. You can also do this by formatting as a table, but if for whatever reason you want to keep it as a raw data array, this is one approach. So what I'm going to do is select all my data. I just used the uh, control shift arrow shortcut to jump down to the bottom right cell containing data. Now I'm going to do, again, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to use a function called mod, which basically gives you the remainder if you divide one number by another. So I'm going to do the mod of the current row of wherever the cursor is, or as it moves down, whichever row uh, the formula is applying to, with an open and closed parentheses divided by 2, so comma, and then the second piece of the formula is the divisor, which is 2, equals, oops, close the parentheses, equals 1. And that's basically just saying 
look for every odd row because the even rows will have no uh, remainder. The odd rows will have a remainder of one. So I can format this with a light gray. When I hit OK, there you go. So every odd row, three, five, seven, nine, is highlighted gray within that array that I had selected to apply the formatting. So now what if I want to get rid of that formatting? Best way to do it, go back into conditional formatting, manage rules. Right now it's looking at current selection, which is just one cell. So I'm going to change this to this worksheet. And I can just delete this rule, hit apply, and now it's gone. Um, so let's do one more example. Um, and what I want to do here is highlight certain rows of data based on some criteria. So in this case, let's say we want to highlight a certain row uh, only if profit margin is under 40%. To do that, we can highlight all our data again. New rule, use a formula. Now we can just say equals, and I'm going to select one cell in the column that I'm basing my criteria. So in this case, column E. But I don't want the formatting only to apply to just row two. So I need to re basically remove that piece of the fixed reference. And then I'm going to say less than 0.4 or 40%. Let's format it with a, uh, you know, we'll just do like an orangey reddish color. Hit OK. And there you go. It's automatically. Um, highlighted any row where profit margin is under 40%. So if you change one of these values, there you go. It's, it's all dynamic. It's always going to update on its own. Um, so hopefully that helps. It's a little tricky. Honestly, the trickiest part is just wrapping our head around the uh, fixed and relative reference piece. But once you get the hang of it, it's a very powerful, very cool tool. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, head over to excelmaven.com if you'd like to learn more about uh, hands-on personalized training. Uh, otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks.